What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Spice of Christ in Your Life. I was gonna work five days straight, but I thought about it. I had plans and all that. Well my wife my wife made plans yesterday. And uh I was just also thinking about it, you know, it's good I give myself a day to rest, work out again, then a day to rest. So I work four days straight, Monday to Thursday, Friday off, uh work out Saturday and then off Sunday. Especially now that I'm trying to go without sets. Try to get this arm at least to 55 today, if not 50. And the goal is to hit this arm right at 50. And um, so I got a little notification from Instagram. And yes, the Cowboys is my team. Uh, this year is actually the Texans. I'm a Texas guy. I support any Texas team. My tongue goes, you got to choose one, Dad. I can't do that. I grew up with the Houston Oilers and the Cowboys. I did try the Texans out in the beginning. I didn't get a feel with them, so I stuck with the Cowboys this year. Even though the Cowboys are playing good, I'm watching the Texans, and the Texans give me a thrill more. I like how they play with heart. I like how C.J. Stroud, the Christian, you know, you let people know. And then if I'm saying the guy's name right, Purdy, the quarterback from San Francisco, I mean, it's awesome I hear, you know, that they're coming out as uh, Christians, letting people know their Lord and Savior is Jesus Christ. That's my Lord and Savior. And I hope he's your Lord and Savior as well. So I did a little, uh, you know, I took a shower right after I got to work. Got a little headache, but nothing major, you know. And I know I'll leave, you know. Uh, the stressful environment at work, not really. My partner uh, took this weekend off, so I'm, wor I'm working without her this weekend. Uh, well, I don't even work with her. I, when I go in, she's already leaving. But whoever took her spot did fall a little bit behind so it was it i needed the hours i'm not going to complain um so it was very very fast paced you know i'm not one that likes to wash dishes reason being is because i deal with vegetables so i wear a beard net so i like washing the the trays that they bring from the front you know and then having to go back and, and do the produce so i gotta either you know i always switch gloves though um I either like really not try to get the apron on the, the vegetables and all that. Um, but I do I do clean with hot water and soap, um, the detergent we have there, and then we have sanitizer. So, you know, especially if you you want to eat at a restaurant, you want to make sure your, your tray is good and all that, even though people ain't eating off the tray. But we use the tray to put the burgers on, and some people tend to eat off the tray. I like to eat off the wrapper. I think the tray is just, I have no idea why they have the tray. Um, but yeah, so that, that's the thing I really have to, you know, I want to get what my manager's about because when I had worked with them before, I didn't have to do that, but it was at a different location. But I got with one of my nieces that actually works in a, close to a location I used to work at, and she says she has to do the same thing. So I don't think it's really a good idea to have somebody doing produce and having to clean up the area, but you know, it, it is what it is. Like I said, it's just trays. Um, some people eat off of them, some people don't. Um, I do, I'm alright with washing the utensils and stuff like that because it's all the cooking gear. We're just, it's just us in the back anyway. So yeah, the goal is to try to hit 55 with this arm if I can and this arm 50. If not, we're just going to keep it like at 50 still. Um, so other than that, yeah, I like to thank y'all for the support. I know I don't get a lot of views, but hey, it's all right. I'm not here to really do it for the views. I'm just here to motivate y'all, talk about Christ, you know. Uh, it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. It wasn't for him, you know. I, I'd be on pills or something because anxiety is the worstest thing you could have. I had all, you can name it, all the forms of anxiety from restless legs to uh, twitching all over to you name it and thanks be to my lord and savior jesus christ he took that all away from me i feel excellent you know i go to work i uh i i'm there i just you know i just thank god you know you always gotta you go to work you always gotta be ready because you don't know what the enemy's gonna throw at you whether it's a co-worker with a bad attitude or what when i go i try to keep that positive attitude you know always believe the blood of jesus upon you I always like to do that before I go to work on top of my head to the soles of my feet. And, you know, it's just, you just got to be ready, you know. And sometimes you just, it, it's a whole different environment. The times are changing, but you got to be strong because you got to remember God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And even though the environment's changed, we're not supposed to change. So I know a lot of people like to say, well, 
that was back then. This is now. Yeah, but God's the same. He's not going to change just because uh, the times have changed. His word's always going to be the same. He lets us know uh, right in his word. There's no, you know, I got to change because the world got to change. I know a lot of people like to say like, well, the United States celebrates, so I have to celebrate it. No, you don't have to celebrate it. Once again, it's your choice if you want to celebrate it or not. Nobody's putting a gun to you. I'm not putting a gun to you. I'm not saying, no, you can't celebrate that. No, you can't celebrate this. All I could say is if you're celebrating it, it's wrong. God's against it. You shouldn't celebrate it. And that's all I could tell you. Other than that, it's either you want to listen to me or you don't. I can't force you to change. And it'd be nice if a lot of people, you know, would change. But, you know, that's not our job. Our job's not to force people to change, but let people know the consequences. And if God's with it or God's against it. And that's how uh, Christianity is. It's also not a religion. It's a relationship with our Creator. And the relationship I have with Jesus Christ is awesome. You know, I've been going through a lot. I still go through a lot. Nowhere did the Bible say, you know, the enemy wasn't going to attack you or whatever anymore. No, he's going to attack you because those are part of the trials and tribulations we have to go through as a Christian. And just like Jesus was tempted and we're not greater than our master, we're going to be tempted. But God's not going to give us more than what we could handle. And through it all, he'll give us a way to get out. So, you know, it's awesome. Everything's in the Word of God, in the Holy Bible. All your answers, your questions, they're all there. You just got to keep reading, keep understanding the Word of God. Okay? So let's see if we can do it more than 50. Here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. 54, 55. Whew. You can see there my ears are literally burning. I've never had this. I don't know, you know, it's another form of anxiety or what. But you can see where they get red. Um, I guess it's uh, the adrenaline. Uh, I've never really with dumbbells ever pushed myself this far with bench pressing I have. Um, it felt good as you could see. I felt comfortable. Um, as soon as I start getting to the hundreds, I do want to do, do the full set main set. Those are a challenge. So one of my nieces was all like, <laughs> I had told her, uh, Melanie the other night, I go, Hey man, can you tell me, do my arms look bigger? And she goes, yeah, you're starting to get the cut and all that. Um, I basically raised most of my nephews and nieces. So they're like my kids to me. So She's already 18, gonna be 19, so she chills with us a lot. She likes to play with my son, uh, Madden, and all that. So I went down there and I'm like, hey, is my arm's getting bigger. She goes, yeah, the cut's starting to show. But honestly, I don't I don't see it. Maybe y'all see it, or maybe she was just trying to make me feel happy about myself. I don't know. But if y'all see the results, just let me know. Sometimes I feel like I see it, and sometimes I feel like I don't. I do know it's. My arms have gotten in more upper because I wouldn't stretch out my fingers that much before. Uh, my wife did say, my wife knows my arms. She goes, your left arm is still smaller than your right. That's why I'm really trying to get this arm to catch up to my right. So we're going to see if I could hit the 50 mark. Here we go. <clears throat> Forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Woo! We did it. So with that 
day I gave myself to rest, we hit the 50 mark. I wasn't struggling. I did feel like I hit the 55 mark. I just didn't want to push myself. My ears weren't really burning. I guess they were burning more on this one because I was concentrating on it. So it feels good, you know. Still have a little headache, but I already had a little headache throughout the day. And um, a lot of times you need to work out just to get that headache. A lot of times they say it's going to make your pressure go, make your headache hurt even more. What depends what type of headache you have. Uh, uh, make sure you drink water too. Water, get, water is good for actually lowering headache down. So I was able to do that. Today, I'm just going to do uh, probably a set of 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I said maybe a set of 15. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And my Chihuahua, as small as she is, she likes fighting with my bigger dog. And they love to play fight, so you're just hearing her over there, just barking and all that. That's what she does. Um, my other dog, she's huge, she's very lovable. But for some reason, the Chihuahuas always want to be the ones in charge. <laughs> uh, so I felt comfortable. I want to see if I could push myself for another set. But... I'll probably do that Monday, if God wants, um, because I really don't want to push myself. I know because of the headache and all that. Um, I really don't want to push myself, but I feel I could do another set right now that my arms are on fire a little bit. I feel like I could do another uh, another set of 50, but I don't want to push myself yet. So I'm gonna let myself rest tomorrow again, like I told y'all. Monday, if God wants. I'm going to do those 50, do the regular workout like I did with y'all. And then I'll try for a, another set of 50. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, today's Bible verse is John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man goes unto the Father, but through me. So, yep, there's no other ways to go to God, only through Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching, and God bless.